us all. Even you. I'm not even supposed to be here. You just <laughs> calm down, Mr. Walker. What the fuck is happening to me? been a sweetheart. He goes up and down, but he does well if I'm patient with him. It can be confusing for him at times. I want to do some displacement therapy with him. I'll set something up. Let me know if he gets back on his cycle. Okay. I'm concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder. His thoughts are becoming extremely disorganized. Let's try clozapine for a while. According to the evaluation, he had a problem with his white cell count. Wouldn't that suggest a more atypical approach? We'll take regular samples. Assuming he stays the course, we'll try to restart his therapy. He'll be encouraged once he gets back into the program. I'll speak to his therapist. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Don't get stressed out, don't get stressed out! Is it morning already? Alpha. What the fuck's going on here? What I really want to do is paint. Well, not you too. Mental note to self. Never again open up a war on two impossible fronts. And never again go within 150 miles of Moscow during the winter. Oh, and remember to buy cyanide capsules at the store. I am now convinced my mistake is to engage the enemy on the eastern and western fronts at the same time. Such a situation is untenable. As such, I will be closing the eastern front with immediate effect. Please inform the Russians we will have to wait until I am finished in the west. Life has a funny way of surprising you when you least expect it. Take the utter and conclusive defeat of the German army, for example. Boy, did I not see that one coming. The British have moved all of their troops into northern France, accompanied by two divisions of American troops. In response to this obvious bluff, I shall have my entire force marshaled in southern Germany, ready to counterattack at a moment's notice. The tides of war are now turning in my favor. The cafeteria staff have agreed to serve Bockwurst every alternate Wednesday, and my therapy sessions have been increased to five times per week. <laughs> Victory is within our grasp. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. Oh, wait, that was church. Damn it! Ask yourself, what is the capital of the Assyrian Empire? Hmm? <laughs> it's a trick question. The Assyrian Empire has ceased to exist, you big ninny. Let us play a game of Connect Four sometime. It would be wise to accept you cannot stand up against a master tactician such as myself. I will win a decisive victory and crush your little red circles with my superior yellow ones. It's better for everyone if we don't bring up the subject of Russia. Except I just brought it up. Help me shot at once! I've put on weight, you know. You might say I'm fighting the Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> oh, you're such a kid, Adolf. I'll be here all the week. Please tip your weight or some try to feel. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt, and I'm so sexy it hurts. <sighs> Nothing beats the sight of bombs raining down upon the Bavarian night sky. I love the smell of cordite and gunpowder in the mornings. I have been listening to Mr. Jenkins on his theory of time travel. I'm convinced he is onto something, and have put all the top scientists of the Reich onto the problem. We now expect to win the war by last Thursday. So, you think you have won a decisive victory? Well, 
in retaliation for your insolence, we have decided to force electronic techno pop onto your asses. How do you like me now, Schweinhunds? Once again, Germany loses the World Cup to lesser opponents. I am convinced the result would have been different if we had set up 30 millimeter cannons under perimeter and laid down heavy fire onto the position of the other team's central midfielders. Ah, uh, Lily Marlene. Too bad we never could make it work. You were a singer and I was out of my tiny little schnitzel. Mental note to self. Never again open up a war on two impossible fronts. Und never of either saying. Happy holidays. Go away. All right, so let me get this straight. But I already he says had he lives in, in that a big mansion kind of place. Tony, please tell me you know what the fuck is going on here. Lima beans are spies. Fuck me. Hey, got any fruit? How do you like them apples? I like fruit. I especially like bananas, but they're not fruit, so I don't eat them. Did you bring me anything? Why are you even here? No, I didn't kill her. She killed herself because she wasn't listening to me. Life is a bowl of cherries. I lost my cherry in the back of a bus in middle school. Kumquat. That's a word I made up. The pineapple is a sensitive beast. It can only be tamed with yogurt. You don't want to drop fruit on the ground. It only encourages the maggots. Plums bruise easily. Just like somebody's face who can't listen to advice. Breadfruit doesn't taste like bread. And you can't put it in the toaster. Just because I like fruit, that doesn't make me crazy. People who don't appreciate strawberries, now that's what makes me crazy. I wouldn't have beaten her to a bloody pulp if she'd only kept the kitchen free of meat. Alphabet spaghetti always contains the number of the beast. You don't put yellow dye number five in apricot jam. Check the ingredients of a blueberry. It is 100% blueberries. If beef is so nutritious, why doesn't it contain vitamin C? Strawberries are precious. You don't waste strawberries. They don't grow on trees. If you leave bite marks on somebody's apple, don't complain if they kill you. I shouldn't be here. There are plenty of people who don't appreciate a good blackberry. Those sickos could use a good straitjacket. If you know where to look, you can always find germs in the produce aisle. I don't think carrots are good for your health if you're asleep when someone comes in your house. You know you're probably not even here, right? Hey, got any fruit? How do you like them apples? Come back any time. You're a Jackie. I know you. I feel sick. I want a cigarette. I'm not well, you know. What do you want? I can see right through you. What do you want? Happy holidays. Where are we? So, what's up? I want a cigarette. I think he's the one. He's not the one. The eyes are too close together. Oh, bummer. Come on! Tell me something. Anything. We're working on a plan to escape this place disguised as a Band-Aid. Yeah! But we're not sure if we can pull it off. 
Thanks for nothing. Hey. Hey, you. Who, me? No, not you, asshole. Him, the one with the hair. I don't think he likes us. I don't like him either. If you find your way out of here, make sure you come back to get us. Unless it's through a wormhole or something. Don't be stupid. Only a worm could fit through a wormhole. I hate this place. Don't you? Hey, he asked you a question. My doctor keeps trying to kill me, you know? Sure. Everyone knows Dr. Vic is crazy. He must be nuts. He said we were getting better. I think there are five ways to tie your shoelaces. Six if you count bending over. Ooh. Good point. My mom used to say, for Pete's sake, pay attention. But I met Pete, and he told me he never had any expectations of me whatsoever. If there really is life outside of this place, I'm afraid of it. What happens on a Tuesday in this so-called outside world? Exactly. How do you set your clock if they don't give you meatloaf? There's really no time like the present. How come? Think about it. The moment you hit the present, you're not in it anymore. You're in the future. Except that it's now the present. Wow. And everyone thinks this is perfectly normal? Why do you always have to be the one that goes first? I don't know what you're talking about. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Who said that? I did, just then. You know, I don't think you can ever really find what you're looking for. Unless you're in a hardware store and you're looking for a nail. Oh, sure, chances are pretty good at that point. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. Frank? Frank, I'm so sorry about Eddie. Oh, you mean Edward? He's right over there waiting by Dr. James's office. Go on over there, all right? So let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and own a lawnmower. How are you today, Jackie? You should really remember to take your medication. Oh, I can tell you missed bath time again this week, Jackie. Why don't you go play... socialize with your friends? You should really remember to take your medication. Bye-bye oh, now. Hey, Jackie. I got that thing you wanted. It's big. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness trick? That's what I told them, but they wouldn't believe me. They got bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get your rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. You think there's some kind of secret key to everything, Jackie? It's Tuesday. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. God damn it. I don't feel right. In my head. I think I'm not alone. It's too bright here. We need to keep watching, because something's going to happen. It'll all be clear in the end. Can you see straight? I can't see straight. I think that light bends, and sometimes it goes around corners. And here comes Jerry. He's on the 10-yard line. He breaks the tackle. 20-yard line. 30, 40, 50, 60, 100. It's a line drive to center. He's out in the paddock area with just one man to beat. Sixteen hundred men dead, and no one knew of their fate. None survived. This was the story of the Charge of the Light Brigade. Tune in next week for more of their adventures. It lives in Viscera, and you are the focus. It wants chaos. My hunger for blood. Okay, that was weird. That was, that was weird. I don't feel right. In my head. I think I'm not alone. It's too bright here. We need to keep watching, because something's going to happen. It'll all be clear in the end. Can you see straight? I can't see straight. Bye now.
Over here, Jackie. Dr. James is waiting, Jackie. But you died. Well, I'm clearly feeling better. Come on, go in and talk to Dr. James. Jimmy, Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You are not keeping okay, me here. Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset, but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. I see a lot of improvement in you, Jackie. Well done. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vic's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of Why here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two! What the fuck is happening?! Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be alright. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family, and that your house was... under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you? That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But... my family, my, my friends... the darkness... Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right, and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! 
Easy, Jackie. <clears throat> Let go oh, of me! God. Come on! You were doing All right, so right, here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go. Johnny, what Two. the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get back here, Jackie! Head for the bunker! He must Tell have Eva I will be late! Stop him! He's running for the door! Jackie, get back here! Boy, this way. There's nothing out there for you! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jackie, Jesus. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chased them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jack-offs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands, it's not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what, what if, uh, what if she isn't even real? Hmm? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing. Think, 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 think. God damn it, I can't think straight. 5,000 years of this shit. You think these fuckers don't know how to be patient? They're probably looking at us right now. Right now! When do I get some juice? Just a taste. I can stop. I just gotta get started. That's... I'm, 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 I'm gonna find out what I can about the siphon, but just don't do anything crazy before I get anything. Okay? The Brotherhood are some dangerous fucking people. They're, you know, you know, sick in the head. You gotta know what you're up against. Look, these Brotherhood guys, they don't kid around. I ain't lying to you. They need the darkness in the worst way. Think. Think, think, think. God damn it, I can't think straight. 5,000 years of this shit. You think these fuckers don't know how to be patient? Go about your day. I'll find out what I can. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. Mm. Hiya, Jackie. Good to see you back. Those fucking weirdos tried to drag you off. We were able to turn them around after you took so many of them out. We just couldn't get Dan Sarah in time. Frank, I'm sorry about Eddie. You did the right thing, boss. Nothing else you could have done. We're gonna take care of his wife, though, right? Of course. 
We'll look after his family. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. I remember this one time I, I went with Eddie to that, that strip club. I forget the name. Anyway, so, you know, I, I pick up one of the girls, right? And I take her into the can. So this guy starts knocking on the door, and I'm like, hey, do you mind? I'm busy in here. But the guy keeps fucking knocking on the door. So I open the door. Guess who it is? Black number eight. Guy was ducking us for months. He owes us like 25 G's. So I fucking chomp on the guy. Let me tell you, that guy wasn't just big, he was huge, right? So I'm smacking him and I'm hitting him and I'm yelling for Eddie to come help me, right? And Eddie... Uh, Eddie... I, I'm sorry, boss. I gotta tell you the rest another time. Don't blame yourself for what happened to Eddie. Or to your Aunt Sarah. There was nothing you could have done. All those years together and I never told him. It was the best pal a guy could have. I'm gonna be moving in with my sister and the kids, you know. Those kids need somebody to look up to. And if it ain't gonna be Eddie, it's gonna have to be old Uncle Frank. I remember this one time I, I went with Eddie to that, that strip club. I forget the name. Anyway, so, you know, I, I pick up one of the girls, right? And I take, take care of yourself. Hey, wait, what's up? Jackie? So, uh... That was fucked up, huh? Too bad about the old lady. She was nice to me. What a day, huh, Jackie? I heard you got possessed by the devil. That's fucked up. So, uh... That was fucked up, huh? Too bad about the old lady. She was nice to me. You say hi to everyone for Jackie, me. boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. I'm really sorry about what happened, Jackie. Whoever these fucking pricks are, they are gonna pay. Those guys won't be stupid enough to fuck with us again. I'm hungry. Fuck, I'm always hungry. Know what I mean? <laughs> sure am gonna miss the old lady. Her charm and wit were surpassed only by her culinary skills. The recipes were all in a head, too. Uh, took them to a grave. God damn it. Why did it have to be Aunt Sarah, huh? Why couldn't it have been somebody who can't cook, like that damn nosy housekeeper? I'm really sorry about what happened, Jackie. Whoever these fucking pricks are, they are gonna pay. Okay. Let's get it. Jesus Christ, Jackie? I'm sorry about what happened to Sarah, Jackie. You did what you had to do. No one blames you for what you did. For me, it's not about the money. It's the art. If you ever need the name of a good pig farmer, you just let old Butcher know. Some might say I'm just a janitor. But without me to clean up the mess, the city would be swimming in blood and guts. I remember when my grandpa died. Threw himself in a furnace just so he wouldn't leave a mess. I'm sorry about what happened to Sarah, Jackie. You did what you had to do. No one blames you for what you did. For me, it's not about the money. It's the art. You go pay your respects now, Jackie. Jackie. You don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. Huh? <laughs> 